Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss about the namespace in your less file. Basically, namespace are here to categorize the different mixins in a single group. So here, as you can see, uh, are used to group mixins under a common name. And why we have to do that? Because if you have created the different mixins with the same name for different purposes, that may give you some conflict in the name. So by putting them inside their own specific namespaces, that confliction can be removed. So let's see a similar implementation where we will be using a namespace in order to remove that conflict from the code. So let's start the practical implementation now. Now here in this implementation of namespaces, basically I have created a couple of nested classes. Like here you can see it call it a nested class like inside heading. I have put alignment and set align function. All right. Inside that I am taking the parameter called val and whatever the value will be passed will be set as text align. Similarly, for the same thing, I'll, I'm doing it for para class. Inside it, it is alignment. Again, set align function with the parameter val and whatever value will come, we will assign that in the text align attribute. Now, in the class main header, I can actually segregate now, right? Because heading, then alignment, and then set align of and passing the value to center. So this center will go to the heading and while for the para, it will go for the justify, all right? So you can see, I have put the similar classes here, right? Means a class with the same name, but because of the nesting and because of the namespaces, I have simply given the same name for the different purposes. All right. Now let's compile this less file. And here you can see very straightforwardly here main header and para. All right. The particular classes, the particular attribute and the value is set like center for main header and justify for the paragraph. Now let's come to index.html and here I'll put a heading and a paragraph. So here you can see h2 class is main header and similarly for the paragraph I can say class is para alright so let's execute it now on the browser and you can see the alignment like here you can see paragraph because the text is small I have decreased the window width so this is justified while the heading is center so this is how you can use the namespace in order to create the nesting so that the similar Class names can be used for different purposes.